it's all worked out. So we'll just continue the class now. Just going to do a few more minutes just to finish up doing our standing poses. Standing in Tadasana, let them roll the shoulder blades down the back, pressing the feet into the ground, getting the feet evenly distributed onto the mat. Try and think of really getting the weight of the body evenly distributed, not onto the left, not onto the right, not to the front, not to the back. Try and keep it nice and strong. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, drop the hands down onto the brick or onto the block. Should have told you, have a brick or a block handy there. Pressing right down, really good. Pressing the hands down, just dropping the head down, just feeling that nice wee stretch right into the back body again. Breathing in, breathing out. Now keeping the bricks or the blocks as high as you need to, or as low as you need to, just keeping them onto the mat, right onto the top of the mat. Lift up on the right leg, stretch the right leg right up, stretch it right up. And then drop the right foot right back to the back of the mat, press the right up, coming right up and do crescent pose. Breathing and breathing out, locking out that back leg, lift the chest, lift the heart. Breathing and breathing out, inhale and then exhale. So I'm doing this one on my laptop, so I hope this is okay. So we'll see how it goes in me. All these wee things have to be done. Breathing and breathing out, really dropping down deep into that front leg, really lengthening the spine, really feeling that stretch in the front body. Breathing and breathing out. And then exhale, dropping the hands down onto the bricks again. Step the back foot in. And then taking that other foot right back to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms right up. Stretch it right up, lengthening the spine. Breathing and breathing out. Really feeling that stretch into the core. Breathing and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Big extension in the arms, big lengthening of the spine. Breathing and breathing out. And exhale, drop the hands down on. Drop, step the back foot in. Inhale, take the arms wide, coming back up into standing, lengthen it right up. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, drop the hands down by your side, me black. My screen has gone black. I don't know why. Maybe you can still see me. Maybe the screen is just gone. Is it still recording? Yes, I think so. Don't know why. <laughs> Inhale, lift the roll the shoulder blades, right up with the arms once more. Exhale, drop the hands down. Really good. Stretch it right up. Inhale, take that. Leg right back again, really good. Lift up on the arms, coming up into your crescent pose. Breathe again, breathing out. Lift the chest, lift the heart, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale, drop the hands down, step the back foot in again. Other foot back, coming right up, right into crescent pose once more. Lift it right up, get the heart moving. Breathing in, breathing out. Exhale, drop the hands down, step the back foot in, taking that other foot back, coming right into your crescent once more. This time we're going to drop that left hand down onto the mat, right hand right up towards the ceiling, turn the chest towards the right side of the room. Breathing in, breathing out. Really good. Get deep under the hips, deep under the core. Breathing in, breathing out. And inhale, lift the hand right up, coming right back up again, stretching right up. Exhale, fold forward, taking that back foot in, taking that right foot back, coming right in. Inhale, lift up, stretch the arms right up, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, drop the right hand down onto the mat, lift the left arm right up from the chest to the left side of the room, breathe it in, breathe it out. Inhale, exhale, lock out that back leg, work on the strength of the back leg, breathing in, breathing out. And inhale, back up with the arms again, come right up, work that balance, work that core strength. Exhale, drop the hands down, step the back foot in, come back up, stretch it right out, lengthen the arms. Exhale, drop the hands down by your side, lift and roll the shoulder blades down the back, breathing and breathing out. So coming right to the middle of the mat now, so to the mat sideways if you're needing to change it. Lift the arms right up, step or jump the feet right back to the back of the room, or to the uh, each side of the room, and then turning to your right, right leg and foot all around, left leg slightly in. Inhale, coming right over to the side, drop the hand down onto the shin, open the chest and the sky, take the gaze towards the top hand. Breathing and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Hold it here for five breaths. Breathing and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. And inhale, coming back up at the center. Turn the feet forward and turning to your Left. left leg and foot all around, right leg slightly in, inhale, exhale, come right out to the side, drop the hand down onto the shin, open the chest to the sky, lengthen it right up, breathing and breathing up, inhale and exhale, big opening in the chest, big opening in the heart, dropping that hand right down, breathing and breathing up, 
and inhale back up with the center turn the feet forward coming right in hands down onto the waist lift and roll the shoulder blades just give the shoulders a wee relaxing down breathing in breathing in inhale lift the arms right up again we're going to warrior two so i'm going to turn to your right right leg and foot all around left leg slightly in inhale exhale bend the front knee coming right down into your warrior position take the gaze through the middle finger of the front hand keep the back hand right up breathing in breathing out inhale exhale these legs are getting some work today breathe in and keep the upper body right over the top of the pelvis inhale straighten up the front leg turn the feet forward turning to the other side press it right in turn the back foot in deeply lengthen the arms right out inhale exhale bending down right down onto that leg breathe in breathing out taking the gaze through the middle finger of the front hand keep the upper body upright breathing in breathing out inhale exhale rock out that back leg work that back body breathe in breathe out inhale straighten up the legs turn the feet forward take the hands down by your side lift and roll the shoulder blades breathe and breathe out have a rest here breathe in and breathe out now step the feet down together come on right into tadasana again tadasana body breathe and breathe out so now we're going to do a lot of work onto the legs we've done a lot of work onto the shoulders and the upper body so we want to make sure that we get a nice big stretch under the chest really good and under the upper body so this time we're going to do goma cast eagle pose okay so this time we're going to bend the knees we're coming right down nice and deep with the knees really feeling that we're getting right down but keeping the knees back from the toes right up really good so we're going to come right up onto that right toe coming right up and get the even the, the weight evenly distributed onto that uh, left foot taking the foot right round and try and take the leg and the toes right in behind the calf right up really good getting that balance getting that focus and taking the arms right up so we have the right over left now we're going to put the left elbow right over the right and coming right up right oh get the balance get the focus breathe in breathe out inhale exhale stretching it right up really feeling that lengthening of the spine breathing in breathing out and then exhale untie the arms untie the legs come right up really good really opening up the hips really stretching right in getting it done same thing again feet are hip of the park Dropping the bum, really keeping the knees right back, lifting up in the left leg, taking the toe down on the ground, get the weight onto that right foot, and then take it right up and round, take it right in behind the calf, really good. Taking the arms right out, bending the elbows, this time it's right over left, right over left, come on right in, lift the elbows, lift the heart, breathe in, breathe out, go Makasa, nice big stretch, nice big opening into the thigh, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, and exhale breathing and breathing out and exhale drop it down coming back in the center shake it out shake the legs shake the arms give it a wee shake it out now this time lift up the arms coming right up exhale folding forward right down taking the hands down onto the ground try and keep the legs straight walk the feet walk the hands right out to the front of the mat take your blocks away if they're still there press the hands into it coming into your plank position Bending the knees, coming down onto the knees, folding back, rest it back, just rest the abdomen onto the thighs, drop the forehead to the mat. Breathe in, breathe in. So just want to do a few wee back bends now, so lengthening the legs right back, dropping the abdomen down onto the thighs. Really good, taking the hands down by your side, turn the neck and head to one side. Just have a rest here. Rest it out, breathe in, breathe in. Now inhale, taking the hands on to the mat. So the fingertips are just level with your shoulders. Lift, roll the shoulder blades down the back, taking the elbows right in against the side ribs and pressing the pelvis into the ground, lifting the chest up, taking the gaze forward, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Really feeling the back muscles working here. Really feeling that you're strengthening the spine. Breathing in, breathing out. Cobra pose, Bhujangas. Breathing in, breathing out. And then when you're ready, if you can, take the hands forward, take them right in, take the hand, one hand on top of the other, press the hand in, come right up in there, modified C pose. Really getting that stretch into the spine now, really stretching out your core. Breathing in, breathing. 
inhale, exhale, feeling it really stretching out the core muscles, really feeling that stretch into the spine. And exhale, dropping the elbows to the mat, taking the hands parallel and the arms parallel and shimmy a wee bit further forward to get the elbows right in underneath the shoulders. Lengthen and stretch the front body coming into Sphinx pose. Stretch right into it. Lift the chest, lift the heart, lift the crown of the head up. Feeling that stretch right into that thoracic spine. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in now, breathe in now. Once more, press the hands in. If you can, stay here if that's enough for you. Try and straighten out the arms. Lift the chest. Really work on that back. Breathing in, breathe in. Inhale and exhale. And exhale, coming down. As you know, everybody, um, from now on, I'm going to be posting my videos on Zoom. Uh, you have to download the app. Very, very easy to do. Just go into Google, download the app. You have the app. Then once you have the app, then uh, I will uh, need your, your number to add you to a group. And then that group, uh, we will be taking the class in the group. So it just gets it a wee bit more private so that I know who's there. I can see who's taking part and I can see what's going on. Um, so Zoom, it's just a, a wee app for actually doing meetings. It was actually, I think it's developed for uh, meetings and offices and things. So it means that I can interact with you as well. Um, so what, what I'll do is I'll have it um, to post uh, in the mornings as usual. I will put it on so that we can keep it disciplined, so we can keep our practice handy. And then what I will do, I'm going to have to ask for a three pound um, uh, payment. Uh, and then I will give you a PayPal account that you can put the, the money into it. You can do maybe um, three or four payments in one go if you want. And uh, then you'll have three or four different classes to go through. So once you give me the payment, then I give you the code and you can uh, practice away then. So thank you very much for joining me today. Take the elbows wide, take the gaze right to the left, drop the right ear onto the ground, just relax it. Just relaxing down here first. And then press the hands into the ground, bending up on the knees, roll over the top of the knees, coming right back up. To sitting again, sitting down onto your blocks. Once more, I want to do another wee spinal twist just to finish off the class after doing your back bends. Really good. <coughs> so, this time we're going to bend up on the knees, lift up at the left arm. Left arm right up, taking the left arm right in underneath, take hold of the right ankle. Take the right ankle right out to the left, drop the knee down onto the ground. Taking that left foot right over to the right, take it right in, really get it in, lift up. In that left arm, pull up the belly, fold forward, taking that elbow right round, turning it right round, lift up in the arm, take it right up and around, drop the hand down onto the lower back or onto the ground, and turn the neck and head right over that left shoulder. Breathe in, breathe in. Pulling that knee right in nice and tight, really getting that abdominal twist, really ringing out the spine after all that strong practice that we did. And exhale, back around into centre. Lengthen the legs right out again. Shake them all out. Then <coughs> bend up on the knees again. Lift up in that right arm. Take the right arm right in underneath. Take hold of the left ankle. Take the left ankle right out to the side. Take up that other leg. Take it right out to the outside of the hip. So just feeling it right into the hip and the, hip and the uh, glute right away. Lift up in the left arm. Stretch it right up. Pull forward, really good. Bend the elbow, take it right around the knee, take the knee right over to the left. Lift up the right arm, take it right up and round, drop it onto the ground, turn the chest right round. Breathe in, breathe in. Really getting that stretch and opening into the spine, really opening the chest. Breathe in, breathe in. And exhale, coming back on the centre. Coming down into your Savasana now, resting into Savasana. Taking a pillow or block, put it right on underneath the head to relax it out. Completely focusing on the breath, completely relaxing the mind. Just rest, take the feet as wide as the mat. Lengthen the buttocks way down towards the front of the, the mat as well. 
dropping the lower back down under the ground, upper arms, lower arms, palm to hands, right down, really tucking the shoulder blades on the, the back, lengthening the back of the neck and completely surrender, completely relaxed. Stay in Savasana as long as you want to stay in Savasana. Keep in that relaxation. Maybe now that you're in the house, you can take that Savasana for 10 or 15 minutes, half an hour, and just relax the right half of the back. Ready, bend it up with the knees. I know I didn't give you much Savasana, but I want to get this posted on to my Facebook right away because I have a few technical hits today. Then drop the knees down to the side, turn them right around to the side, push yourself up, come right up on this sitting. Thank you very much for joining me for yoga. I'll get all these glitches all ironed out today, hopefully. Namaste.